What's going on guys, I'm Flexeria Tech Hero, and this is the third and final part of building my Ultimate Lee & Lee Razer Edition PC. Now you should definitely check out the first two parts, but in case you haven't, I'm gonna summarize what we did so far. So in the first video, we set up the Lee & Lee O11 case with two sets of Corsair QL fans, with one set getting mounted to the AIO. In the second video, we transferred all the PC parts from an old PC to my new PC case. We also installed the new Kraken Z73 AIO and two sticks of 16 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM. And then when I turned it on, I ended up burning up my hard drive, which was completely my fault by the way. But anyways, I got a new M.2 in my old hard drive's place and everything's back to work in order. Now in this video, we're gonna be installing three more Corsair QL fans to the bottom of this case. And that's gonna total nine fans all together. We're also gonna be swapping out those ugly power cables with some cable mods from Thermaltake. And I got it in the green and black cause, you know, the Razer vibe. At first I was gonna get some Lee and Lee strimmer cables, but I changed my mind on that. I may however swap to them sometime in the future. We'll see though. Finally, we're gonna be setting up the software for the Corsair QL fans and also the Z73 AIO. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to get a cool animated GIF on yours, assuming you have one. Anyways, let's get started. So I think the first thing we should do is probably put in the fans, but I'm gonna have to take this graphics card out to do that. All right, now we're gonna have to take these SSD trays out. And also, it kind of looks like I'm gonna have to unplug the USB 3.0 front panel ports because this is gonna get in the way. All right, let's see if they fit without having to unplug it. No, it doesn't look like they do. See, this is gonna get in the way. So I'm gonna have to unplug it. Now these fans are gonna be pulling air in. So in through the bottom of the case, we want the cross to be facing up and that's gonna pull the air in. I got the fans all screwed in. All we gotta do now is wire them up and then change out the cables for the cable mods. One more thing I forgot to mention is I bought this USB splitter for the USB header down there because I didn't have enough USB ports to power everything. But I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna have enough ports. So what I think I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put the cable mods on the power cables. All right, so I got the cable mods all wired in. We're gonna go around the back, hook up those three fans. We're gonna add the splitter, and then we're gonna go in the computer and set up the software for the fans and also the AIO. So, I got everything wired up, and um, this might be the worst rest nest you ever seen in your life. So I was just sitting here for like 30 minutes, and I was like, what in the world can I do with this? And it looks like the only option I really have is to take this expansion slot out. But the problem with that is I got to unscrew a screw back here, right here and under here, which I don't have a screwdriver short enough to get this out without taking the whole radiator off again. And I just don't want to do that right now. So what I'm going to have to do is probably order a sharp screwdriver. So I'll get this fixed up soon, it just won't be in this video. So you can see I added another RGB hub and I used three fan splitters to put in the Commander Pro so I can hook up those other three fans. 
I also added a USB hub right there so now the case lights will probably work when we turn this on. All right, all the fans are hooked up, the cables are hooked up, the new USB splitter is hooked up. All that's left to do is turn this thing on and hopefully nothing fries up again. Please don't let nothing fry up again. Let's see if she works. Turn this power switch on the back of here. Look at that, we never had that before. I guess that USB splitter is working, huh? All right, let's see. Please nothing fry, please nothing fry. Oh Lord, they are working, everything is working, thank God. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna start with the fans and obviously we're changing everything to raise the colors so everything's gonna be green at the end of this but I'm gonna just show you guys how this IQ software works. So we're gonna click on lighting setup or lighting channel actually and you can see right now it's in rainbow mode, okay? So what I'm going to do is actually click on rainbow wave and I'm going to click on custom static color. Now I can click green and it's changing the bottom ones to green but this is my second light note core. So if I do the same thing with the first one then it should change the top one. Okay so the first controller is controlling the top three and side three fans and the second controller is controlling the bottom three fans. Now if you wanted to you could actually add another layer to this. So let's go and click the plus and then we're gonna click on we're gonna click on rain and now you can kind of see that's like a, a over effect on the static green. So you can do this with like a couple different effects. Um, Another cool one is uh, color shift. I did try this with a few different combinations, but it looks like not everything seems to be working together. Um, it could just be me not knowing really what to do. But anyway, we're gonna keep this on green and uh, we're gonna go to the RAM. All right, so here we are, same IQ software in the RAM. Let's go to lighting effects, click the plus, and there's really the same options that the fans have. A color I really do like is marquee. So I think I'm gonna put this on marquee green. And actually, I think I'm also gonna put the fans back on marquee because that just gives it a little more uh, flavor, you know? All right, so we got the fans and the RAM on green. Let's go over to the NZXT cam software where we can customize the GIF on the AIO. All right, so we're on NZXT cam and you see that I have it on lighting already and it's showing up as Kraken Z3, which is, I believe is Z73. Um, and right here is the GIF. So I already got an ROG Gamer on the LCD display, but we're gonna change that to Razer, obviously. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first, what we want to do is go to internet. So when you get here, we're gonna type in Razer GIFs and then go to images. Now all of these should be GIFs. Um, we're gonna pick, so I'm gonna pick this one right here and we're gonna save the image. Now we're gonna go back to the Kraken display, upload GIF and click on Razer GIF. Now I'm gonna put this right around the Razer logo. And I'm gonna kind of make it smaller so the logo gets bigger. So as I go smaller with this, this is gonna be blown up more. Trying to get it just perfect. I think that's about right. And now we have a Razer logo on our AIO. That really does look good. But there's one more thing we got to do because this case comes with lights on the bottom and on the side. So we're going to go to Razer Synapse and we're going to set that up. All right, now that we're here, it's finding all the Razer products that we have. And the Lee and Lee O11 Dynamic Razer case comes up. We're going to click that. 
and we can turn the brightness down and up but we're gonna keep it up and you get all the effects that every razor product has but we're gonna keep it on green because well that's kind of what we're going for so that's it guys i think it's complete so as you can see behind me i ended up changing the case effect to wave so it can match my keyboard and headset stand i think wave is probably the best looking effect this case has now obviously I'll be upgrading my graphics card to a 30 series card, but as you probably know, they're kind of hard to get right now. So I'll have to wait till they get back in stock. But that's going to conclude this three part series to building the ultimate Lee & Lee Razer Edition PC. Thanks to everyone who watched all three parts. This was really the first time I tried something like this and I think I'm happy how it turned out. We also just recently hit 500 subscribers as I was editing this video. I wanna thank all of you for the support. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe so you can see more tech content like this every month for a bunch of months to come. I'm Flex Zero, your tech hero. See you in the next one.